Welcome back to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. It's so good to be back and sharing more mindfulness, awareness, and relaxation information with you. I hope you've enjoyed the interviews and my guests that I've had over the past couple of months. I thought that uh, Jennifer Strickland was wonderful sharing her information on mindfulness use of essential oils. And for uh, my other wonderful guest, Nick Hendricks, and sharing with us very personal information about how he and his wife are making generational changes as far as communication and sharing with us the cybersecurity information. That was just really great. And now let's go forward. What are we going to do next? More guests are coming uh, this new year, 2024. I look forward to bringing more special guests. And also, I would like to share with you some information that is another part of my program, Transition Awareness Breathing, is neuroplasticity. And um, so what is neuroplasticity? Well, in the past, just really briefly, there were thoughts that, you know, once you become an adult, once you, you know, you grow up, that's it. Your brain just is at its maturity and you don't grow anymore. What you have is what you have. However, a lot of research has been shared where no matter what age you are, uh, we can continue to grow new neurons. And what does that mean? This is not science fiction. It is really great information. And I look forward to sharing that information with you in more podcasts to come. Just as a little um, preview is one thing that we can do to increase our neuroplasticity, the, the, the growth of new neurons, is to try something new, learn something new, venture out, do something different. And so I hope to share with you information to, this is just a suggestions, um, you know, we all do what we can with our abilities. Yeah, starting slow is my suggestion and maybe doing a little research and just taking the first step might be the, the first start. So I hope you enjoy this great new season. It's a little bit chilly out here, and um, but the sun is out and the sky is blue and I'm so happy to share a tab with you. <laughs> Uh, okay. Anyway, thanks for joining. Keeping the thoughts of neuroplasticity in mind, it's easy for us to get accustomed to the regular paths and our very manicured way of life and lifestyle. How much do we miss out? on the beauty that surround us. And so one of my goals is to bring a little bit more awareness of stepping off of that manicured path and being curious and explore some of the narrow paths. When our lives are interrupted and we're forced out of that manicured lifestyle and we find ourselves among the what we perceive at this time is a skeleton of what life used to be like rocks and tree limbs just everywhere. I would like to explore with you in how do we pick up the pieces? Where do we go from here? 
We can make our own path, a new path, and make a decision how we want to change going forward. Maybe going right or going left, maybe that part doesn't matter. But the part that really matters is to keep going forward. And maybe the path is not so visible to us. But we can take a moment and look around and see the landscape of our lives, of ourself. Asking why and continuing to ask questions is part of growth. If we're not asking questions, then we tend to become stagnant. So as we go forward and explore neuroplasticity in terms of growing new pathways for change within ourselves, within our minds, because neuroplasticity involves the new growth of new neurons, new nerve cells in our brains. And that comes about when we do things differently. Even if it's writing with our non-dominant hand or singing a song that we haven't sang before or changing our environment like going for a walk and maybe going for a walk in a different place at a different temperature just something even learning learning something that's new and different learning a new language learning to smile when there's nothing really to smile about. But that might seem contradictory. Why should I smile? There's nothing to smile about. Because at that time, we don't see what we need to smile about. The smile brings hope within us. That spark, that light of hope and it generates positive responses in our brains. And so, we can smile at the memories, the good memories. And we can smile at looking forward that we can contribute something within ourselves to grow better and improving ourselves and then our community and beyond. So here's a short story. I took the opportunity to learn something different. I like to walk, of course, as you can see. I also wanted to explore something new, and new with uh, creativity, which involves art, and new with technology. Which for me, involved uh, learning a new um, audio visual platform. And with art, it's a little bit, um, I can't say easier, but maybe more palatable compared to me learning new technology. Uh, if I put a texture to describe 
how I feel in learning new technology, I would say uh, is very rough and bumpy. And I'm excited to bring more information to you and we can grow together and discover new channels in our minds, in our life, and in the future. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time.